Hey, Family Home Church on Facebook and YouTube. I'm Daniel Taylor, Sr., and this is not live, but this was pre recorded for what are the dates again? 18th, 19th, and 20th for Bible time at night, which is what we do every night, and this is the Leviticus only. Uh, the other scriptures will be run when we return from our vacation. And a great vacation we are having, I'm sure. This is pre-recorded, so I'm not 100% sure. But we always have a good time at Pensacon. And we, this is like, like I told you guys before, this is one of the things that our family loves to do together. We are going to be in Leviticus chapter 8 and 9 this, this Friday, 18th, 2022. And as soon as I post my Bible has disappeared my my Bible go my Bible has gone away Bible disappeared oh. I'm sorry maybe I should start over I'm not going to but we are here we go Leviticus 8 and 9 and the Lord spoke to Moses saying the air take Aaron and his sons with him in the garments the anointing oil, a bowl of as a sin offering two rams in a basket unleavened bread and gather all the congregation together at the door of the tabernacle meeting. So Moses did as the Lord commanded, and, co and the congregation was gathered together at the door of the tabernacle meeting. And Moses said to the congregation, this is what the Lord commanded to be done. Now I'm going to pause there for a second because this is something that I've always said before, and I'm going to say it again every time. God created man. God wanted from the very beginning discipline, obedience. He still wants discipline and obedience. Let that sink in for a minute. Because even Jesus said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. You obey my word, in other words. And from the very beginning, that was so. So let's continue. Then Moses brought Aaron and his sons and washed them with water. And he put the tunic on him, girded him with sashes, clothed him with robe, and put the ephod on him. Now this is after they finally get all the tabernacle completed, how they fixed it and made it the proper way. This is after all... The garments were created properly and everything. This is the actual time where they're bringing this all together finally. And I lost my place. Ephod on him and girded him with the intricately woven band of the ephod. And with the tide, the ephod, and it tied the ephod on him. Then he put the breastplate on him. And he put... I'm sorry, and he put the and he put the urim and the thurim through him in the breastplate, and he put the urim and the through him in the breastplate, and he put and that was the uh, the parts that were saying, I think the different uh, stones representing the uh, five tw uh, the twelve tribes of Israel, and he put the turban on his head, also the turban on. On its front, and he put the golden plate, the holy crown, and the as the Lord had commanded him, commanded Moses. And Moses took the anointing oil and oil of the tabernacle, and all that was in it consecrated him, them. He sprinkled some of it on the altar seven times, anointed the altar and all these utensils and the laver in its base to consecrate them. And he poured some of the anointing oil on Aaron's head and anointed him to consecrate him. Then Moses brought Aaron's son and put the tunics on them, girded them with sashes and put hats on them, and the, as the Lord had commanded Moses. And he brought the bull of the sin offering that Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the bull and of the bull, hands on the head of the bull of the sin offering, and Moses killed it. Then he took the blood and put some of the horns of the altar all around with his fingers and purified the altar and he poured the blood uh, at the base of the altar and consecrated it in to make an atonement for it and then he took all the fat that was in the entrails that fatty lobe attached to the liver and the two kidneys of their fat of their fat and Moses burned them on the altar but the bull its hide its flesh and the offal 
he burned with fire outside the camp as the Lord had commanded Moses. Then he brought the ram and the burnt offering, and Aaron and his sons laid his hands on the ram, and Moses killed them. Then he sprinkled the blood all around on the altar. Now, there's a lot of people who would question the fact that Moses did this and not Aaron. Well, Aaron wasn't constant, constant, wasn't purified yet. Moses was. And people say, well, who did it for Moses? God did. You remember when he came down off the mountain, he was so he was so glowing that people couldn't look at him and put a veil on him? God did this directly to Moses. That's why he had the power of the blood of Jesus literally in him. People don't understand that. Well, Jesus didn't come into thousands of years, a couple thousand years or so after Moses. Got to remember what the James said. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God in all things that were created. We're not created by Him. I'm not saying it in the proper, proper way, but things were not created unless they came from Him first. We don't have cushiony chairs without the fact that we had stuff created like cotton and, and, and animals. Without God, nothing's been created. Then he washed the entrails and the legs in the water, and Moses burned the whole ram on the altar. It was a burnt sacrifice of a sweet aroma, the offering made by fire to the Lord as, as he had commanded Moses. And he brought the second ram, the ram, the ram of consecration. Then Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the on the head of the ram, and Moses killed it. And he also took some of the blood and put it on the tips of the Aaron's right ear and the thumb of the right hand and on the big toe of the right foot. And then he brought Aaron's sons. And Moses put some of the blood on the tips of the right ears and the thumb on the right hands and the big toe of the right foot. And Moses sprinkled the blood all around on the altar. And then he took the fat, the fat and the fat tail and the fat that was in the entrails, the fatty lobe attached to the liver, and the two kidneys, and their fat, and the right thigh, and from the basket of unleavened bread that was before the Lord, he took one unleavened cake, a cake of bread anointed with oil, and one wafer, and put them on the fat on the right thigh. And he put all these in Aaron's hands and in his son's hands, and waved them as a wave offering before the Lord, then Moses took them from their hands and burned them on the altar, on the burnt offering. They were consecrated offerings, a sweet aroma. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, almost always twice, sometimes three times. That was an offering made by fire to the Lord. And Moses took the breast of the and waved it as a wave offering before the Lord. It was, it was Moses, part of the ram of consecration and Moses had as the Lord had commanded. Then Moses took some of the anointing oil and some of the blood which was on the altar and sprinkled it on Aaron, on his garments and the sons, and on the garments of his sons, of his sons with him. And he consecrated Aaron, his garments, his sons, and the garments of his sons with him. And Moses said to Aaron and his sons, Boil the flesh of the... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Boil the flesh at the door of the tabernacle, meaning, and eat it there, and eat it there with the bread that is in the basket of consecration offerings, as I command you, saying, I, Aaron, and the sons shall eat it. What remains of the flesh and of the bread you shall burn with fire. So whatever you can't finish eating, you burn it completely. It can't be given to nobody else, just the priest, just the high priest and the priest himself, and the priest themselves. And you not, shall not go outside the door tabernacle of meaning for seven days until the de the days of your consecration has ended. For seven days you shall he shall consecrate you, as he has done these days. So the Lord had commanded to do to make atonement for the for you. Therefore you shall stay at the door of the tabernacle of meaning day and night for seven days and keep the charge of the Lord so that you may not die for so I have been commanded so Aaron and his sons did as the things the Lord had commanded by the hand of Moses then it came to pass on the eighth day that Moses called Aaron and his sons and the elders of Israel and said to Aaron take for yourself the young bull as a sin offering as and a ram 
as a burnt offering without blemish, and offer them before the Lord. And to the children of Israel you shall speak, saying, Excuse me, take a kid of the goats as a sin offering, and a calf of the lamb, both of the first year without blemish, as the burnt offering. Also, a bull and a ram as a peace offering to sacrifice before the Lord, and a grain offering mixed with oil, for today the Lord will appear to you. Okay, that's good. So they brought that what Moses commanded before the tabernacle meet, of meeting, and all the congregation drew near and stood before the Lord. Then Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord commanded you to do, and to the glory of the Lord will appear to you. I pray that for all of us, that the glory of the Lord will appear to us. We can't see his face. But if he just, just showed some of his glory, we would, be, we would have the power of God upon us so strongly that no sin would be able to enter into us. I pray that for all of us in Jesus' name. And we can do that without having to go into the temple. We can do that without having the blood of a lamb or a ram or a, a goat or whatever being sacrificed to us. Because we have Jesus who fulfilled the law for us. And Moses said to Aaron, go to the altar, offer your sin offering and your burnt offering and make atonement for yourself and for the people. Offer the offering of the people and make atonement for them. As the Lord commanded, Aaron therefore went to the altar and killed the calf of sin offering, which was for himself. Then the sons of Aaron brought the blood to him, and he dipped his finger in the blood, put it on the horns of the altar, and poured the blood out at the base of the altar. But the fat, the kidneys, the fatty lobe, and the liver of the sin offering he built on the altar, for the Lord had commanded Moses. The flesh and the hide he burned with, uh, with fire outside the camp. And he killed, and burnt, and he ki and he killed the burnt offering. And Aaron's son presented to him the blood which he sprinkled all around on the altar. Then they presented the burnt offering to him with what with its pieces and head. And he burned them on the altar. And he washed the entrails and the legs and burnt them with the burnt offering on the altar. Then he brought to the people offering. Uh, he took uh, the goat, which was the sin offering for the people, and killed it and offered it for sin, like the first one. And he then, <coughs> and he brought the burnt offering, offered it according to the prescribed manner. Then he brought the grain offering, took a handful of it, and burned it on the altar beside the burnt sacrifice of of the of the morning. He also killed the. Why is this doing now? The reason that they're doing this is because they don't have Jesus yet, for one. But the reason he's doing this right after he got consecrated and forgiven of sins and all that is because he had to know how to do it. Moses is literally probably is literally helping him get through it, so he learns how to do it properly. He also called the bull and the ram as a sacrifice of peace offering, which were for the people. And Aaron's son presented to him the blood, and he sprinkled all on the altar. And the fat from the bull and the ram, the fatty tail with the covers of the entrails and the, and the kidneys, and the fatty lobe attached to the liver, and put the fat on the breast. Then he burned the fat on the altar, but the breast and the thigh Aaron waved as a weight offering before the Lord as Moses had commanded. Then Aaron lifted his hand, to, his hand toward the people, blessed them, and came down from the offering, the sin offering, the burnt offering, and the peace offering. And Moses and Aaron went into the tabernacle of meeting and came out and blessed the people. Then the glory of the Lord appeared to all the people, and the fire came out from before the Lord and consumed the burnt offering and the fat on the altar. When all the people saw it, they sh shouted and fell to their faces. And here's the thing. Um, what was I going to say there? Again, we don't have to do this anymore. Isn't this a wonderful thing? Because that's a fulfillment of the law. Um, but we need to recognize it and understand it. Why is it here? We need to understand it and recognize it and know that it's from the Lord that this had happened. Okay? So that's just... I'm going to end it with that and just bless you guys in the name of Jesus. Um, I got a helicopter flying overhead. 
suckers loud. God bless y'all. Facebook, YouTube, both of you, like, share, subscribe. Send this word to other people. God is here to, I am here through his, to be his voice so you guys can hear the word of God. Now, it repeats itself, and I understand that. And you're like, didn't he just do that sacrifice, blah, this and this? Why can't he just say, and this is how it was done every time? Well, he probably could have. But again, this is like a journal for Moses to write it down. Um, there's a lot of people who do journals, and I've known a few ministers who actually do a journal. And they say they look at their journal, and they realize they repeat themselves several times in several of their books, in several of their journals. Moses is just doing a journal. Okay, but it is profitable for doctrine, for correction, for reproof, and instruction in righteousness, according to Second Timothy three sixteen. That God inspired all of this. That's why we need to read the Word. God bless y'all. Like, share, and subscribe in the name of Jesus. Come again.